Professor Irudia Rajan, Dr. Mahalindran. May I now request Atinder Pal, member of GRFTP, to welcome Professor R.P. Jain with a supplement. Dear friends, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second international conference of global migration, rethinking skills, knowledge, and culture. I mean, then you have tomorrow the sessions which we have on various themes related to the themes of the conference. So you will be having a good insightful discussion, it will be a rich exposure and also you come to know the emerging perceptions about the, the, the themes which we are going to uh, work on to the first come in the coming two days. And also I'd like to inform you that we have a very uh, expert, we have great minds on dias who are going to speak on the expertise of in the field of di migration, diaspora, and transnationalism. Uh, then, we also want to, I mean, before I go back to my seat, I want to tell you the journey of GRFDT. Actually, it's, we are like young scholars who are voluntarily working for setting up a think tank of GRFDT in the future. That's why we are just trying to mobilize scholars raising our object, goal. So we look forward to your support. You're most welcome to become member or you can join us on board. So having said that, I like to welcome you all and also you'll be having good Indian cuisines from different parts of the India and also you'll be having, you're having good, very pleasant weather in Delhi and also you can go out for sightseeing. Delhi has various historical monuments and also Delhi represents microcosm of India. It'd be a rich experience to walk in the streets of Delhi Hope you have a good, pleasant stay and also look forward to your insightful discussion in this two days conference. The National Migration Policy Drafting Group appointed by the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs. Sir, I would like you to welcome, I would like you to come here and uh, give a speech and talk about the book. Good morning to everyone. In fact, uh, I am pleased to be here because we have, I am meeting some of my old friends, Professor Jay. And of course, not your old friend, young friend, the person that I And uh, Dr. Mahalika is a very young friend again. And I'm not going to speak on the book because you can look at the book, uh, which I'm not going to do. Of course, we are all talking today about diaspora, but I think many of the diasporas lost a lot of money. Nobody talking about that. I think this is something somebody should write in, uh, in probably before today's conference or tomorrow. Many of them lost some money because I spoke to people who are working in the Gulf. The workers lost some remittances, hardly and money they are not able to send. They got a problem, they are not able to withdraw the money what they have put in their in their accounts in both in Kerala and other places. Now diasporas, we have something like 20 million diasporas we are talking about. Many of them always keep some money with them, Indian money. Now they can't use it because within a month it will be no use. I think uh, the, the, the cost of this, uh, you know, the notes on diaspora has to be written up by someone as a, maybe a lead paper or some, some journal. Next speaker, also the guest speaker in the inaugural session, is Professor Binod Khadariya. He is Professor of Economics and Education and Chairperson of the Zakir Hussain Center for Educational Studies within the School of Social Sciences in JNU. He is also Director of International Migration and Diaspora Studies Project, co-sponsored by the Government of India. His publications include The Migration of Knowledge Workers, Second Generation Effects of India's Brain Drain, and several research papers published by the ILO, OECD, Harvard International Review, World Social Science Report 2010. He is Deputy Chair, South Asia 
and Regional Coordinator, India at Asia Pacific Migration Research Network. May I now call upon Professor Vinod Khadriya to give the guest. Thank you for that nice introduction, which part of it I do not deserve. Um, I'm no longer the chairperson of the Center, Center, it's rotational. I've done my duty uh, with blessings from my seniors like Professor Jain three times. Uh, but I'm very happy to be here. Uh, and my friend, younger friend, as you there, I can say, Dr. Mahalinga, said people have traveled from far abroad. I'm a local in Delhi from Jawaharlal Nehru University. I have also traveled from far. <laughs> Until the night before, I was in Melbourne. And it was very kind of you to have called me on phone and um, suggested that I speak at this August gathering. This is my privilege, and I would uh, like to share some of my thoughts on this important issue. Uh, today, I see that particularly GRFDT, uh, such a vast and diverse membership, I'm pleased to note that uh, the area has flourished and um, developed and grown, grown over time. This is a, an area, international migration and diaspora studies, is an area which is very diverse, cuts across disciplines. And from that point of view, it has both advantages and dangers, risks, as well as privileges in the sense that uh, the challenge of working in this area from disciplinary point of view is that there is no single discipline involved. It's multidisciplinary. And in that sense, uh, people have to work on borderline and push those borders far, far away. The danger is that there, there can be very low level of equilibrium if you just try to limit yourself to your own discipline and not, not look beyond that. So today, from looking at the, at the at the souvenir, the, the brochure that you have distributed, I could see that uh, the interest is cutting across and it's actually trying to push the, you know, borders uh, further down. But I think this is an opportunity for me to reflect on global migration. Uh, my own journey over the last four decades, uh, uh, I would say global migration and diaspora, we need to make a distinction. So now the distinction has been blurred have been blurred over time. Uh, one reason is that diaspora itself has changed definitions. Diaspora, as you remember, many of you, came with the Jewish people, people without the homeland. And now diaspora actually incorporates anybody who is outside one's own, own home country, may it be for, for a small point period of time. Travel travelers, earlier migrants were defined as those who are living in other countries for at least one year, but no longer so. So transnationalism has taken over in that sense, and I think that is the shape of global migration that is coming uh, to take shape. Excellent uh, overview on global migration. Moving on to the next keynote speaker, <coughs> Professor R.K. Jain, who is also an authority on Indian diaspora, has authored numerous books, research articles, and reviews including most recently Nation Diaspora Transnation Reflections from India in 2010 and the making of a museum, Personal Recollections in 2013. In 2008, he was elected chairman of the Indian National Confederation and Academy of Anthropologists. In 2009, his book, Indian Trans Migrants, Malaysian and Comparative Essays was adjudged the best contribution for the prestigious GS Ure Award. I am somewhat overwhelmed because there have been <laughs> brilliant presentations before me <clears throat> and uh, I was in a small way <clears throat> uh, contributory to the organization of DRFDT, the organization which has <clears throat> uh, organized this conference and uh, when the president and uh, the co uh, organizer, Dr. Sahu and uh, Dr. Mahalingam, asked me to give the keynote address, I was in the retreat of the Himalayas. I was in near Nenital. And I had only a few books and journals with me at that time. So I 
prepared a keynote address which addresses not the question of uh, rethinking as Vinod Khatri has pointed out or skills as Professor Irudharajan said, but a very broad dialectic of nation and transnation in diasporic geopolitics. And rather than paraphrase this, I'll read out my address so that you also have a copy of that in your uh, portfolio. You will be able to uh, uh, perhaps uh, recollect what I have said. I wish to delineate the geopolitical context of skills, knowledge, and cultural transfers and exchanges in global migration. The salience of global migration and the diffusion, as well as the organization of the exchange and transference of skills, knowledge, and culture. In fact, culture is something that I'll discuss more, being an anthropologist, is evident in the range of contributions, themes, and perspectives to be presented in this conference. The papers deal with migration and development, multicultural locations, literary exegesis, interfaces, integration, and conflict, regional configurations, questions of identity, and diplomatic as well as policy issues. There is a vast range of things being discussed in this conference. Uh, also, the other speaker, Professor Khadriya, Professor Rajan, and Dr. Mahalingam, thank you for your thought provoking ideas and setting up the tone for the conference. May I now request Rajiv Mishra, member of GRFDT, to formally propose the vote of thanks? It's been a wonderful morning. So, starting with the uh, vote of thanks, first of all, for the inaugural session, I'd like to um, respectfully and Heartfelt thanks to Professor R.K. Jain for agreeing to deliver the keynote speech, even uh, considering uh, uh, time for us, uh, uh, seeing that he is a very busy man. So thank you very much, sir. Uh, after that, uh, Professor Pramod Khadariya, who is also uh, is very occupied with his commitments and time schedules for other academic activities, uh, but he still, even though he was busy and he was in Melbourne, he took out time and he considered coming here. Uh, and uh, giving uh, you know, a speech, a very wonderful speech. And when he was talking about rethinking skills, I was, I was in my mind, uh, Clifford Breed's thick description was going as a sociologist. So all the details and all the Ten Commandments which he gave, so very interesting. Thank you very much, sir. 